In the previous episode, we attempted the Grand Thunderbird, and you know what? We almost got him. <laughs> Considering we got like nothing good going on, we only have 149 life. It's not, it's not been great. It's not been great, but we almost got him. So in today's episode, I'm gonna spelunk a little bit. We're gonna go try to find some more hearts. Uh, yeah, and that might be just about it. I'm, I'm not really like hyper focused on getting, um getting any like major accessories but you know what if you oh my goodness i did it again <laughs> happened in the last episode too i'm i am excited to potentially get hermes boots a obviously a lucky horseshoe <laughs> um yeah i don't i don't know i don't know really exactly what i want i just want something better going on than than what i've got going on um it's hard at the beginning of thorium as a thrower I don't feel like I have great weapon options, but I do think that there are plenty of uh, potential options for us. And that comes down to being able to get thorium. So in the thorium mod, thorium happens to be an ore that you might've guessed. And you can uh, get that starting in the cavern layer, but it starts getting more and more common the, the further down you get, I think. So we could try and get that. Oh my goodness. No, bat. No. <laughs> Stupid bat. Get. Oh my goodness, this bat. This is gonna be the end of me. Oh my goodness. Get get away, bat. Bad bat. Get get back. Jeez. Goodness. Did a lot of damage. This is a problem. I'm, I'm feeling very vulnerable <laughs> in, in Thorium right now. And I, I kind of want. I don't know. Some better options available to me. It's been tough. It's been. It's been tough. Oh my goodness. Not again. No. I can't see. No. Get. Where is he? Oh, I got him. Okay, good. Why is it not popping stupid uh, things down? Torches. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those days, I guess. I just got smooth coal. What is that? It is a material for what? Um, oh, that's right. Uh, I remember now. This is like a lot of the bard stuff. Well, I mean, I can make diamonds out of it. I can also make an escape rocket. Activates a rocket that uncontrollably sends you high into the air. It's kind of nice if you want to try and find some, well, I don't know, some sky islands. I know of one that I've been to, but anything else is uh, kind of up in the air, you might say. What is this? Is this thorium? No, it's aquamarine. Dang. I was hoping. I was hoping. Oh, I found thorium, but I can't actually mine it. I need a better pickaxe. That's unfortunate. I think I only need like 10 in order. How much would be there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, that's enough. I think you need 10 in order to make a, um, what is it? Is it a forge? It's a thorium something. Anvil? Maybe it's a thorium anvil, but you need, you need a bit of them. <laughs> and, uh, then you can start making bars. But even then you still got to find a bunch of thorium. So kind of sucks. It, it feels like uh, it should be a little bit more, I, I I don't know. Like, okay, here's the thing. Thorium as a mod, it's very like vanilla. It's, it's um, vanilla adjacent. It's not like super heavily modded. I, I mean, obviously you've got some pretty heavily modded classes. You've got the bard, you've got the, uh, um, the healer and a bunch of other like random little changes that they make to the vanilla experience that make it, like I said, vanilla adjacent. Oh my goodness. Let's not get killed by this guy. I'm going to get killed by this guy. I don't think I could kill him fast enough. Maybe, maybe. Oh my goodness. Do it. Kill him. Smooth coal. <laughs> Thanks game. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, we got a bunch of lava over there. All right, let's, let's pop back here. Let's make ourselves a better pickaxe, please. Uh, pick. What, what am I missing on the pickaxes? I am missing wood. Oh my goodness, why do I have any wood? All right, let's go collect some wood and then I'll make a stupid pickaxe. Okay, now let's make ourselves a gold pickaxe. Sure. I mean, that's better than what I have in Calamity at the moment. I'm not really even using my pickaxes um, to their full, percent, full potential in that particular mod. All right, let's go grab the story. But yeah, so as I was saying, the mod is very vanilla adjacent. And the result is, you know, you get, you get things like the thorium ore, 
which is really cool that they have like their own little ore. This worm is going to be the death of me. Um, but at the same time, it's very hard to get, you know, it kind of feels like the whole mod is not balanced around going and just like taking out a couple bosses right off the bat, which is potentially the intention behind it. However, it is also, as we've seen, fairly easy to just go take a couple bosses out right off the bat. Like, you know, you saw what I did to um, the, the Grand Thunderbird already, and we're not, you know, we're not even at the... the Dude, let's kill this first before I die to it. Goodness, does so much damage. Like, we're, we're not even at a situation at the moment where um, we need to go do the boss. Like, I feel like I could, I could keep playing just the normal non-boss stuff and get quite a bit of really good gear between the Thorium armor and the rings and everything. But when you, when you look at, like, what that actually looks like, it's a lot of playtime in the stuff that you don't need to do so it does kind of feel a little unnecessary let's get that thorium there i can't believe i missed this before but hey it is what it is all right got another 15 there how many are we at 33 that's pretty good how much does it require for the anvil it is just 10 okay cool that's nice and then the bars are four each aye, aye, aye. but like do we have a thrown weapon we do um is that worth it for the boss maybe it is Maybe it is. Am I going to get attacked by this stupid bat? I might. Um, there doesn't really seem... I mean, there's like the band of replenishment. Which might be okay. But there's really no other throne thing here. Titanic bar. Um, yeah, I think what we end up doing... Is just going and... Concentrated thorium. Oh, hard mode again. Yeah, I think what we do is we just go and make the thorium dagger. I think I skip out on the armor. Like 20 bars for this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 10 bars for that. 15 bars for that. It's just, it, it feels a little much. It feels like they're wanting you to invest a lot of time into finding the thorium off the bat. But it's, you know, it's pre-boss stuff. If I could go get the Grand Thunderbird dead and then go get King Slime dead. And a bunch of other bosses, right? Oh no, I don't want to die here. So many of these stupid bats. But uh, it's not necessary to go get the thorium armor to do that. And then once I've gotten those dead and I can go kill... Ooh, what is this? Gilded bat. Okay. Let's try to let's try to kill it with these. Oh my goodness. It's going to take forever to kill, isn't it? But, I mean, if it gives me like five gold like the other guy did, that'd be pretty good. Problem is, it's just going gonna, gonna to kill me. <laughs> Don't get hit, Zen. You know what? This is this is just practice for the Grand Thunderbird again today. I am gonna kill that boss today, 100%. Like I've I've already gotten more health than I did before, and uh, that was a big part of why I died is because like I would get hit and just lose almost all of my HP in a single hit from the boss. It's it's tough to do. We we can also upgrade our healing potions. Um, getting a lot of glowing mushrooms. It's another thing to consider. Found more thorium there, but I don't know how good that's going to be um, for us to keep looking for, as I've mentioned. Well, we'll have to put some time into it. Um, but it, honestly, if I could just get the the weapon out of it and then use that on the Grand Thunderbird, that's probably going to be better than these stupid cactus throwing things. Like everything's going to be better than that, right? Sure, surely my cactus thrown weapon is okay but not nearly as good as what I can get from that thorium. So, so let's let's just plan to make a bunch of that. Okay, let's see here. So in order to make it, um, did I need any like special, just a workbench? Okay, so we could take this, pop it in there and we can dump all that in, dump that in, and then we can type a thorium. Okay, get that anvil, craft that, put that there make our bars could make 11 of them i mean that gives us a lot of these i do feel like that's worth it so let's get the thorium dagger um max stack please 625 um let's let's see how this goes oh i gotta not be messing with my 
<laughs> my inventory too much. All right, let's also get the, is it a flare? Yeah, storm flare. Cool. So let's, let's throw one of these and see what it does. You know what? That feels a little bit better than the previous ones, the, the cactus needles that I was using. Let's try this boss again. Here we go. As I get hit by something immediately, where's this boss at? Is he coming to me? There it goes. Whoa, okay. I wasn't expecting the charge already. That's not ideal. So let's remove our mini maps so we've got. Oh, wow, this thing fires pretty quick. Oh yeah, these die way faster. This is nice. Okay, we just gotta keep it up. I do feel like the poison effect that we were getting from the cactus needles, it's like really good. Something to consider. All right, let's get into this. Let's, let's kill this thing off. I gotta be careful with doing that melee attack there to stun him because that's what killed us in the previous attempt. <laughs> Not ideal. Get some of these nerds dead. It, it means that we can do that melee attack without taking that damage. Okay, let's pick up some of these. I would like to recover as many of these as I can because they're very, very good. All right, let's gonna do the melee attack. Ooh, that beautiful timing, man. Can we do this without taking another hit? That would be ideal. Man, that is such a cool, a cool mechanic on this boss. I really like the Grand Thunderbird. I think it's probably one of my favorite early bosses in a mod, just because it's so unique. And the fact that it's got a lot of mechanics going for it. Here we go. Um, like you've got to dodge the storms. You have these, uh, you know, additional birds that are spawning. And then on top of that, you got this cool melee mechanic that you don't really see in other mods where it's like, yeah, you can you can risk it for the biscuit. You could try to stun them by meleeing them. But, you know, that comes at a price. That's that's not going to just happen. Uh, you have to hit them at the right time, and that charge is kind of brutal. I love that. I really do like that risk-reward kind of thing. It also means that melee, oh my goodness, is less bad against this boss because you get that cool stun mechanic. I believe other bosses in Thorium do it too. Oh man, we just need to finish this boss off, don't we? Shooter! Shooter! <laughs> oh crap. Alright, my drop. Okay, didn't need to. Goodbye, my birdie. Oh, we did it. We finally killed the boss. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. We got the Thunder Talon. We got the Zephyr's Grip. We got the Sandstone Ingot. I'm going to try to find as many of these weapons back as possible. Um, we got the Storm Cloud. Summons a pet cloud to follow you around. Oh, oh, look at that. It's so happy. Beautiful. We got the Relic. Um, what is this? Oh, I missed one down there. Actually, let me just collect all these first and then we'll read everything. Okay, let's see here. So, what was that? The Zephyr's, Zephyr's Grip. Even at a young age, Grand Thunder birds are incredibly powerful. Hatchlings will grab onto the fully extended hook when aimed upwards. Hatchlings provide a mid-air grapple that temporarily slows your fall. Hold up to further decelerate your fall and down to cancel slow fall. Only one hatchling can be grappled onto before touching the ground. Interesting. So... So hold, what was it? Hold up to further decelerate your fall and down to cancel the slow fall. I'm not noticing a slow fall effect. <laughs> Grab onto it if aimed upwards. Hatchlings provide a mid-air grapple. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe it works. I mean, that's such a cool effect though. Is that, that's gonna hurt me. Yep, ooh, I almost just died from that. Okay, a little bit of experimentation. Doesn't work quite the way I thought it would, but I kinda like that hook a little bit better than the amethyst one, so we're gonna pop that in there. Uh, I don't have a place to put relics down yet, but I'm gonna make a little statue area when I get a chance. And then finally, we got these ingots, which make what? Ah, these make our armor and our first technique. 
How many do I need for all my armor? I'm gonna have to do this boss again. Uh, I can also make sandstone throwing knives with this. Interesting. Uh, anything else? Melee, blah, 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 nope. Okay, and what's the technique? Cost one technique point, press the throwing technique key. Briefly increases your speed greatly. Very interesting. But that also requires a blank technique scroll, which is sold by the Desert Acolyte, which we're not gonna get until we make uh, a few more houses here. So let's uh, deposit some of this stuff. I, I guess I could keep that in my inventory at the moment. And then we will make some armor. Let's do the chest piece. And probably the, the greaves, because I don't think I can make them all, because that's gonna do eight. Yeah, I'm, oh no, I can make them make the full set. Nice. All right, what's gonna be our bonuses here? So desert winds have granted you a sandy double, double jump. Okay. I don't think it's any better than the one I got. <laughs> it's the same one. Okay, so really by having this, I'm not using it at all. Interesting. So do I have another accessory that I could use? That I can make? Because if it's the same thing, I'd rather have an accessory that's actually gonna provide me some benefit rather than being the exact same thing. Clown in a bubble, no. All right, well, man, should I just make one of those stupid rings? <laughs> Let's see here. Armor penetration, radiant damage, critical strike chance, ranged damage, symphotic damage, melee damage, magic damage, throwing damage. Let's do that. Let's make one of these. Um, I don't need empowerment upgrades on that though. So I want it to be daytime and then I'll go do that boss again. Uh, we can also see, here, let's set this up. We can also see what he drops now. So summon ranged symphonic vanity. So he doesn't drop anything special for me outside of the ingots, which we can then use for, oh, we look real cool now, don't we? I'm um, feeling cool. We also are getting a bunch of extra stats here. So do we have thrown on here? Probably not. Unfortunately, this is from Fargo's mutant mod and it's not giving me like, whoop, it's not giving me the stats that I need for specific things, which normally you would get from like this. So healer, bard, unfortunately it doesn't show me anything else here. So for throwing damage, just gonna have to do the math on my own. Okay, second time was much easier. Got that extra throwing damage. Uh, we got the storm cloud again, and we got ourselves some more ingots. Um, we want the ingots as much as possible, honestly, because I'm gonna make some of those other weapons just to kind of supplement these thorium daggers. I think the thorium dagger is the way to do this, in my opinion. So if you're gonna do this as thrower, go find some thorium. <laughs> Make some thorium daggers. Obviously you need the animal first, but you should be doing that anyways with your first uh, set of thorium stuff. Yeah, I, th I kind of liked it. That was fun. But like, do I need the full thorium set? No, no, definitely not. And here's the thing, as I was saying, like it, it wouldn't even make sense to do that because why do that when I can get the thrower set just by beating this boss? So, Maybe, maybe it's not intended to be that way where you're like, ah, no, I'm going to do this crazy grinding to get all of the thorium stuff. It's like, well, is it really worth it? Maybe if you were playing melee, honestly, that, that actually might be worth it to do if you were playing melee. But for, you know, for thrower, definitely not. For bard, definitely not. There's just better options out there. For healer, you know, definitely not. I did go put down a couple uh, houses, which speaking of the die trader has now moved in. I was hoping that the sand person would move in, but that hasn't happened yet. So I'm going to go back and throw an instant house down over here and maybe that'll make a bit of a difference. I need to collect this wood. Honestly, I'm really low on my, my amount of wood because each instant house takes 50 wood to, to make. Let's go put this off over here, shall we? How about right there? Beautiful. Okay. Maybe he'll move in now. I, know, I got a lot of NPCs who are like waiting to move in. Also, I could totally sell this. Uh, boop, get rid of that, get rid of that. 
Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. Storm mask, nah, okay. And then that leaves us with all of these bars or these ingots rather. So we can do, uh, what's it called? It was sand something or other. Sandstone throwing knives. Cool. 1100 of them. All right, that is better than not, in my opinion, to have. What's the drop off on these? You know what? That's pretty good. <laughs> that thing just goes. That was fun. We still gotta do King Slime. Can I actually make a slimy crown? Is this worth it to do? It's something to consider. Um, crown, I can make a golden crown, which means I can make a slimy crown, but I don't know if, if that's actually worth it to do right now. Because I feel like I'm gonna, based on, based on my playing of Calamity, King Slime really gave me some issues. So I'm a little hesitant on that. I don't think I should be, but I just am. So I'd rather do the Eye of Cthulhu next. So we gotta get that one to spawn. That may happen randomly. Here's the other thing. I'm going to go through and do a lot of uh, building in between episodes as well. So like, it's a toughie to kind of figure out if, if I wanna go for the boss kill right now. Oh my goodness, so many of these guys. I may as well do it because I'm trying to work on getting uh, some fishing going. So I may as well get all that. Why is that not auto stand? Oh, that's right, because it's on my stupid bar. Okay. So I think maybe I go underground for a little bit more. Do more of that. Actually, you know what I could do? I could go buy some, actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go buy some TNT, some dynamite, which will allow me to make my instant vader, which is an instant elevator. It's really, really nice. It's another cool thing about Thorium, or not Thorium, but uh, Fargo's, Fargo's uh, mutant mod. Okay, I got like no gold left, but we got the dynamite. If I go instant, where is it? Uh, I need 10 rope coils and 99 torches. So I have the torches. I'll just dump those in. Uh, rope coils, we'll dump that in. Make 10 of those. Make that, which means I can then come in here. Type rope. Get that back, get my torches back. Um, only 50? Eh. That's fine. That's fine. And then also the Insta Elevator. Insta Vader. Had to be really careful putting that in my inventory. I don't want the painter. Oh, there's so many dudes. Okay. Let's see here. Apparently I died there. I think, geez, 35 minutes ago. That was a while ago. I think what I do is I put my Insta Vader right here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make a noise. So I'm going to mute the game while it does it. Because it's really loud. But now we can head down and just get a good look at everything. <laughs> Sometimes we'll find caverns on either side. Uh, sometimes we'll find a bunch of thorium. That would be nice. Obviously, I've already explored here. And then I could potentially find things like health crystals and whatnot. So I could just go down all the way and, and collect stuff. Um, more rubies there. That's really nice. There's another track there. Now we're starting to get to this area. Maybe I find more Oops, a health potion. I saw thorium there. Okay, cool. I, I'll take the thorium, right? Because the thorium I can use for uh, making more weapons. So as much thorium as possible, really. Until we get to the king slime being dead. I think the king slime has a special weapon that either you can get from him or that you craft from him, I believe. It was, I was looking this up like a couple days ago when I decided to do thrower. Uh, but honestly, I don't remember. Okay, cool. So we've done a lot here. We've got our elevator up. We've got a boss down finally. And now we have uh, an easy way to start getting the rest of our health. So we can then go get King Slime, Eye of Cthulhu, and just like bang them all out. Um, more thorium there though. I'll get that. It's nice. I'm having fun with this mod so far. I'm really enjoying this. It's, it's been, like I said, it's been a while since I've played Thorium and you guys seem very enthusiastic about it as well. So thanks for hanging out, sticking through it 
And of course, if you have any suggestions, make sure you're leaving them as comments because I, I read every single comment. I don't always have time to respond to all of them, but I read every single comment. So if you guys have any particular weapon uh, things that you think I should get or armor that I'm totally missing out on or just things I just don't know it exists because, you know, I'm either running on outdated information or I'm just not paying attention to the wiki enough, then keep those in the comments because you'll, um, you'll effectively be showing me what I'm missing. And I love that. And it'll make the whole playthrough just a whole lot better. There is one boss fight that I actually just remembered. Ah, uh, there it is. Viscount. Totally forgot about that guy. He's like somewhere in here. I think if I remember correctly. Good thing I didn't like just blast through his his boss arena because it is an actual area on the map that I'm going to have to go find. Hopefully that won't take very long. Sometimes it does. I, v I vaguely remember it taking a bit, but I also vaguely remember there being some kind of item which helps you locate him. Though we don't need that for some time at least. <laughs> 